Morning guys, it is 8.51, about to head to the gym. Got some blue raspberry C4, so I'm kind of excited to be drinking stuff that's not pink for once. Uh, I have a really simple meal prep. It's gonna look similar to last week, but I really enjoyed what I had last week, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, I will catch you guys along the way, off to the gym. Y'all, it is one o'clock. I am just now getting home from the gym and the grocery store and I am annoyed like all because of these things. Like I needed some more low carb tortillas and so Meyer didn't have the brand I was looking for, the Mission, that normally has three grams of net carbs. So I went to Meyer and they didn't have them. I went to Walmart and then finally I had to go to Kroger and I don't know if they changed the formula or whatever, but now they're four grams of net carbs. And they used to come in a 10 pack, now they only come in an eight pack. Like, and this was $5. I am so annoyed right now, but I needed these. I'm gonna have to reevaluate my use of tortillas from now on because I am over it. Uh, but I'm just about to eat something and watch TV and try to relax. And then I got a short meal prep today. up we have bacon I'm not gonna lie I still don't feel like I have the art of making bacon down so this week I tried it in the oven and I'm gonna say that it's probably my favorite way to make it from now on so there we have it next as usual scrambled eggs uh, I make these with a tablespoon of ghee, so it's a dozen eggs with some ghee in the pan. And I found that I like making them low and slow. It takes longer, but it really makes them creamy and delicious, and that's the way I prefer them now. This is the spice mixture that I use for my meat. It is a teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, a teaspoon and a half of salt, and two teaspoons of chili powder. And I also throw some red pepper flake in there as well because I can never have it spicy enough. So I just grind up my beef. This week the cheese of choice is mozzarella, so I found that I like to buy it and grate it myself. And next up we have jalapenos. So here I'm building my pizza dia, so it's a quesadilla but with pizza. So I start with the tomato sauce, half of the cheese, a serving of pepperoni. Next we have that jalapeno. My favorite pizza of all time is pepperoni, bacon, there you go, and jalapeno. So I decided to replicate that on a tortilla. Next, the remaining pizza sauce and the rest of the cheese, and then I pop it into the oven and hope it turns out. Hey guys, it's 4.30, and for some reason, I am just like mentally and physically exhausted. Not my best work today, I will tell you. Um, for breakfast, just scrambled eggs and ground beef. I really liked that last week. For lunch, I made pizza dias. I'll let you guys know how those were. It's basically a quesadilla, but with like pizza filling. So I'm actually really excited about that, even though you might not be able to tell right now. I haven't even worked on the desserts yet, but like, I have to take a break. Like, I don't know what's going on, but I just can't be in the kitchen anymore. Uh, I'm gonna be making the Keto Connect uh, peanut butter or ice cream Snickers fat bomb and just the peanut butter and just the chocolates uh, that I made last week. So the Keto Connect chocolate bar, 
both really good and I may do that today. I may do that tomorrow morning. Like, unless I get a second wind or something, I'm done. I might just like crawl into bed. I have no idea what's going on. I really think this like Tortilla Gate 2018 like really put a damper on my spirit. So I'm gonna try to get a second wind, but regardless, I just wanna let you know that I finished most of the meal prep. So thankfully I did get that second wind. So I was able to move on to the Keto Connect chocolate bar. I am chopping up the dark chocolate as well as the cacao butter and then adding the coconut oil. Once that comes out of the microwave, I hit it with a little bit of sea salt and a splash of vanilla. Give that a good stir to make sure that all the fat mixes with the coconut oil. Next, I hit it with a tablespoon of Swerve. And I like to pour this in slowly because if not, it will all clump in the bottom of the cup. So now I'm putting just about a teaspoon in each of the 24 mini muffin tins. While that's in the freezer, I moved on to the ice cream Snickers Fat Bombs by Keto Connect. The first layer is peanut butter, protein powder, and I use water and stevia. I put that in the freezer and moved on to the next layer, which is peanut butter, butter, and sugar-free syrup. That next layer, after it comes out of the microwave, looks really caramelly. And you're supposed to wait until the first layer hardens, but I was tired and over it, and I decided to just clump it in with the first layer still not being set all the way, but it actually turned out pretty good. Next, I take a handful of peanuts and just put a couple in each fat bomb to give it some extra crunch. Not gonna lie, I ate the rest of the peanuts in my hand. Put it back in the freezer and the third layer is two tablespoons of butter and two ounces or one ounce of dark chocolate. After that comes out of the microwave, I hit it with about 20 drops of stevia. I like it spicy and I like it sweet. Finally, spooning that on as the third layer after they come out of the freezer. As you can tell, I'm not even making sure that the bottom is completely covered. I am just trying to get done. And a second wind she did find. Uh, Sat down for a little bit, now I feel a lot better. As you can see, I knocked out the Keto Connect chocolates. I've made them into like little chocolate tabs using my mini muffin silicone mold and they're amazing. And that's probably my favorite way to make them from now on. Uh, also, you saw I got really lazy with the peanut butter or the Snickers fat bombs. Um, the good thing is, even though they look horrible, they're, they're gonna taste good, so that's all that matters but I am really done now and I'm just gonna sit down and relax. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. Also, don't forget to like me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Catch you later.